Yeah, morning, Trey. So a bit of a bloodbath playing through. You've seen um, reversals playing through in markets. You've seen reversals playing through in positioning. Uh, people are trying to get a bit more short in this market. There's really no buyers playing through, but clear frustrations uh, for the peak inflation narrative crowd. Uh, you know, you look at it on a, on a headline basis, we've seen headline dropping from 8.5% to 8.3%. That's a positive in a way, but the market was obviously looking for 8.18% or so. Going to the sort of the core inflation, you go straight into shelter. I mean, shelter's been at the backbone of a move higher in core inflation. Owners equivalent rents, really the, the sort of the, the key point there, up 70 basis points uh, from a year on year clip that's gone from 5.8% 5, 5 to 6.3%. And so you've seen core yeah, higher than where the market was looking for. So in the Fed's eyes, have we seen any kind of evidence whatsoever of a, of a, of a deceleration in underlying inflation? The answer is clearly no, the market's reacted to that. Uh, going to Fed funds futures, we've priced in an extra rate hike for December. Uh, the terminal rates for April is at 4.32% now. We've uh, got a one in three chance of, of 100 basis points co uh, hikes coming through in that September 21st meeting. Uh, we have seen inflation expectations moving a little bit higher, but ultimately nominal treasuries have moved up at a faster clip in terms of yields. And of course, that means real rates have moved up, and that means we've seen this tightening of financial conditions manifesting in a much stronger dollar. The dollar index is up 1.4%, having its best day since March 2020. Euro dollars back below parity, but really the gains against the high beta currencies. So Aussie looks like it wants to go down and test 67. We've got big moves in the Noki to the downside, big moves to the downside in the Kiwi dollar. Dollar yen may want to go and test 145 on this move as well. Equities have obviously cratered. We've seen semis down about 6%, home builders down somewhere similar. Uh, S&P futures have traded a sort of five and a half percent range on the day. Uh, the cash markets, we're talking over three Z score moves playing through on the day, but the S&P, you know, 99% of stocks lower. We've got the worst day there since uh, June, uh, or the 11th of June, 2020. Bid for protection, you know, the VIX has pushed up over three vols into 27%. Uh, you know, you've got the ASX today expected to open in Asia down 2.2%, something similar, probably a little bit worse for Japan. And as we look ahead, we've got our eyes on UK inflation. What will that bring us? That's going to be something that the pound traders want to look at. But very few buyers, certainly people trading this from the short side today.